What's up everybody, I'm Officer Wes, Dixon Police. Today we're going to be covering the different canine animals that you guys come up with. Okay, so before we dive into doing our alternate canines, uh, a couple matters of uh, kind of housekeeping we need to do first. Our last video, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it, but it's on tornado sirens and kind of what goes on behind the scenes with them. I kind of just did the video and kind of went, okay, whatever it is, what it is, and we'll move on to the next one. Uh, apparently I've discovered a small niche of group of people on YouTube of tornado siren experts, and they've all been commenting on me and sending me messages, which is hilarious because I didn't even put, you know, a second thought into it until they started messaging me. So one of the guys did comment, and it's a good point. Tornadoes can happen anywhere, so don't take what we said as, well, a tornado's never going to hit Dixon because it's in the valley. Okay, tornadoes can happen everywhere. If you do hear a siren or listen to your NOAA weather radio, just go into your basement. Be safe. Use common sense. Don't be like, well, you know, we're safe because Officer West said so. It's stupid. Okay, I'm not a tornado expert. These guys are. So listen to what they have to say. Uh, second matter of some little housekeeping. We're hiring. Okay? If you are already a police officer, we're looking for lateral hires. Okay? So this isn't for new hires, but that list will be hopefully coming up to this fall. You know, but currently we're looking to create a new hire list for people who are already police officers and want to join the Dixon Police Department because it's awesome. All right, uh, this last week got on the bike. So for those of you that saw me out there and were waving and you know, st stop chat six feet away, obviously. So thanks a lot for uh, you know flagging me down and talking with me because that makes the day go by so much faster and we enjoy it when we get out and talk to people and. And I put in about 28 miles over a couple days, so I could sit down on uh, whatever that was Wednesday because we'd rid ridden so much. But you know, we, we enjoy getting out and seeing everyone and enjoy the, the nice weather. And we're getting stir crazy just like everyone else. Oh, I forgot. Happy Easter, everyone. And we totally missed it. Should have started out with that one. But you know, from the Dixon Police Department family to yours, I uh, hope you guys had a, a good Easter. I understand that. You know, everyone's isolated through all of this and social distancing and you know, able to go visit your families and you know share the, the holidays with them but we're we're in the same boat as you guys uh, we had our shifts we work with they're, they're kind of like our second family because we spend so much time with them uh, so we do get to see these guys still just because we're at work but hopefully this will all be over soon and we can maybe do some makeup holidays for you know families and get together and hide some easter eggs later on and do whatever else you guys got to do for Easter. So, again, happy Easter from the Dixon Police Department to you. Okay, let's dive into the alternate canines you guys came up with. The reason we came up with this was a couple videos ago when we were switching from night shift to day shift. Uh, we were talking about, you know, everyone killing time and isolation watching uh, Tiger King on Netflix and how just crazy it is. And so we came up with, uh, you know, uh, Kind of a, not a challenge, but a suggestion for you guys to come up with uh, what animals would you pick for us to use as an alternate to our canine dog? And they were awesome. You guys came up with a ton. So let's open up uh, YouTube first, check out the comments and on that video, and we'll dive into our, our social media pages as well and see just exactly what you guys came up with for us to try to Photoshop in. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link here, step over here and watch that video real quick. Get a little backstory for it. So, first off, animals that you guys came up with. Right off the bat, we got Sean who says a bear. Imagine seeing that climb out of the SUV. Let me give you a little backstory. The SUVs are terrible. Now I'm like one of three people here that doesn't drive an SUV, everyone else likes them. They turn like a cruise ship, so. We'll do a future video on that one. We'll do like a squad car shootout where we compare which ones are best. Um, we've got a couple ideas in the works for that one. But a bear, man. We're talking about like a grizzly bear? What kind of bear are we talking about? We have the uh, do whatever we want, maybe a panda bear. Someone, uh, me, Bree. Definitely a goose. Easy to transport and effective, intimidating. They like to chase too. That's really all the characteristics of a canine dog. I mean, they like to chase things, they bite. Um, I don't know how they do on smelling, but we may have to do a picture with Goose. Maybe it's like an attack dog kind of role. Uh, 
Funny story about a goose though, is we actually have an officer here who everyone calls Goose, and we'll cut over to him for a little backstory on that one. All right, so Sergeant Richards, tell us why they call you Goose. When I was a new officer back in 1998, we got a call of a goose in the lady's front yard. So me and another officer went down to the house and there is a juvenile goose in the front yard. So my partner at the time, he was from a big city, didn't know what to do. And I grew up on a farm, so I'm like, well, we'll catch it, throw it in a pet carrier, take it down the river. So the lady had a pet carrier and uh, we grabbed the goose and I threw it in a pet carrier. And my partner at the time goes, holy crap, that was awesome. And uh, my supervisor at the time came across the radio and uh, asked our status. And uh, my partner goes, oh, he grabbed it with his bare hands. So we took it down to <laughs> took it down to the river and let it go. And I dumped it all out and he was all upset and mad. So I started driving away and I looked at my side mirror of my squad car and he's flapping his wings, chasing my squad. And since then the, uh, the name has stuck. Pick him back up. So Andrea says a llama would be perfect. I had to reply to her and I said do make, they make llama saddles. Apparently they do, which is awesome. Which makes me think that instead of a canine dog, this would be more of like a little bike patrol. So in Dixon we have a thing called Petunia Fest every year. Hopefully we have it this year. But crowds of people come down to the carnival and everything else and we try to thread through the different people on our bikes. If we had a llama, there would be no problem. If you going around trying to probably nip at people, spitting and everything else, the seeds would just part for us and our llamas would just ride right through. That's pretty good, I'm gonna have to do that one. Kitties, timber wolves, <laughs> a slow turtle or a sloth. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, we do have to do on our uh, traffic stops. It has to be for a uh, reasonable amount of time. I can't just hold someone there waiting for my turtle <laughs> to creep up to the car. That was pretty good though. I like that. All right, Godzilla, anteater. Anteater's pretty creative. Uh, elephant. Elephant would be good. They got the long trunks. They probably smell everything. Get in the hard to reach places. Uh, let's see, this is from Soccer Van Buren. Let's be real guys, the elephant would be the best. You wouldn't You wouldn't need probable cause. The trunk could slither its way around and never inch the vehicle completely. Alright. Someone went. So I, I did have to reply to this one. Uh, not sure logistically how we'd move that though. We could probably just ride the elephant. Although I got thinking about it a bit more. What if we had a baby elephant? Their trunks are still pretty long and they might actually fit in the back of one of our squad cars. And they're cute. Bonus points. So maybe we'll have to do that one with a picture here.
Okay, so on to Facebook. And we've got people saying another llama, another one for a goose, a lot of cats and dogs. Okay, let's see here. And we've got honey badgers. Yes, honey badgers. Those things are terrifying. So let's look up some pictures of honey badgers just to kind of show what I'm getting at. When we look on honey badger, honey badger. All right, every other picture of the honey badger, is it attacking something? Anything, it doesn't care. The honey badger will fight literally anything, no matter if it's outnumbered, what it is. So that would probably be a great attack animal, though I think the officer, whoever would be the canine officer, would probably be in just as much danger as everybody else. So we should do something with that. I got a creative way we can do that. There's gonna be the people who message me and say, why can't you show more videos of Harry, our actual canine dog? And there's a very complicated and technical, and very scientific reason for why Harry didn't star in this video. And that's because Harry works on the opposite shift as me. So it's really not any of those, what I just said. It's just my laziness that I didn't come in to work on my off days because of the stay at home order. Yes, thank you, governor saving me from having to come in to film stuff on my off days. That's why. So stay at home order. That's why Harry's on this video. Definitely not due to my laziness or not wanting to come in at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night to video Harry sleeping on his dog bed. If your suggestion didn't make it into you know, one of the pictures that we photoshopped, I apologize for that. I only got a limited amount of time and energy to do all this stuff. Uh, you know, amongst doing videos, we do have you know stuff we do outside of here as well, like um, taking college courses myself. I got other officers who are you know doing all sorts of you know maybe home construction projects or you know just other little things. So you know we have a limited amount of time, and if I did everyone's picture, we'd be doing like a three-hour video because there was a ton of suggestions, which is awesome. So uh, again, huge thank you for the support for this channel for these videos. You guys are awesome, and you're the reason that we do these videos for you. Um, last final note, again, if you're a police officer wanting to possibly work here, uh, we are creating a higher list for lateral transfers. Um, make sure you guys are staying safe, stay home. Um, oh, I do have a final note, just remembered. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers because the chief said we can do some giveaways, like, Maybe some coffee mugs or some t-shirts or something like that. Uh, I've got maybe an example I'll throw up here. Uh, just something we're kind of coming up with. If you guys would want something like that, go ahead and give me a comment below. You know, let me know what you guys like. Um, obviously, we're okay with Photoshop, doing some stuff. So if you uh, got some ideas of something that you guys would be interested in, you know, is this something you guys would like to see available from us? You know, maybe like the, the proceeds from all that stuff would go towards like the police charitable association you know, or something that helps pay for, you know, like the cops and bobbers or, you know, the shop of the cops, stuff like that. It would be you drinking coffee with us, buying t-shirts from us, something like that would directly go back to the community. You know, just an idea we're kind of kicking around. Um, talking with the chief about it. So it's stuff's in the works. Uh, just let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, again, if you got ideas for swag, some kind of shirts or mugs or whatever, you know, drop me a comment below. Uh, also, it's contingent on us reaching a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you haven't shut the video off because this is the boring part of it, go ahead and hit subscribe, okay? Because we're not doing it if we don't reach a certain number, certain number of subscribers. And if you do want to keep following us, you can also find us on social media, as we mentioned before, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, the links for those are also in the uh, message below. 
and we'll see you guys next time uh, and who knows what kind of video will come up with next because I just do my videos week to week and I really have no planning so your guys guess is as good as mine